Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure Factorio. Hello, hello everybody. How are you doing today? So, it uh, looks like I'm playing some more Factorio because we like the stuff, and well, I like the stuff. I love this game. Just like the complexity and everything about this game. It's just amazing. So looking back on my design here, this is kind of a neat little design for temporary. But it's not going to do us any good. It's not going to last long enough is, is kind of what I'm trying to say. So let's just make sure we got the ammo on these turrets here. Oh, this one needs more ammo. So we'll definitely have to keep producing ammo. <laughs> so we'll let that do its thing. We have the radar doing its thing. I think it's slowly... Hopefully going to uncover this. Looks like we have some stuff going into that biter base there. So most likely we're going to expect probably some confrontation. Um, we need to make wall pieces. So these pieces. And I think they just need stone bricks. So let us build actually. Let's do it this way. Let's build an assembler. Okay. Let's put this with this stuff here. Okay, oh, I have two assemblers now. That's funny. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll just put this assembler there. Maybe we'll build another inserter here. Yeah, we need to start automating a lot of this stuff because I don't want to continue doing this. So let's see here. Let's put a power pole right here. And this will be building walls, stone walls. Now, what do we want to do with the stone walls? We need to put them into a chest, so we need another arm thingy, an inserter, and then we need to create an iron chest. We don't have steel yet. Iron chest. Here's my iron chest, and here's my little arm thingy, and it looks like we need to move this guy again. So let us change put that one there, and this one. Like that. Okay, there we go. So now we have walls being built. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert... Maybe we'll let this stop at these two. So this will continue to operate as it does. Putting bricks into here. Producing walls. And uh, this will continue smelting stone to turn into bricks. And here we have our excess stone. I'm not worried about the stone because down here we have th these stone, this stone deposit we can tap into. And oh, see, look at that. I'm missing an inserter right here. So that way we can. There we go. That way it can start to do its thing. Okay, perfect. So let's grab some plates. Uh, let's see what how much steel is stored up here. Not much at all, so let's let's grab all of it because we use all of it. Let's check our coal deposit stuff down here. So it looks like it is an operation, which is nice. Let's kind of do this. There we go. Perfect. So we can actually... No, no, we'll keep this stuff. We need that. So, good. It's putting the wood on there, which I want. And how are these working? These are working at 50%, looks like. We, need, we can, of course, build more of these guys. We need to build more turrets. I know that for a fact. Let's see. Let's build more turrets. Okay. Uh, where do we want to put them? Well, we need more ammo. Let's see here. Okay, got those, got that. Okay, it's not producing fast enough. Now, what's the holdup? Uh, looks like there isn't a holdup. Looks like it's just a matter of. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working towards better ammo, I think. Well, I guess it depends what happens with the attacks. So, this is more stone. How much stone do we have? 130 in here. Let's grab uh, control left click. Yeah, control left click does the whole, you know, all of that type. 
Let's go up in here, control left click, bang. Okay, so that will continue its processing. This is almost done, so it's good. Probably don't need to fill it up anymore. Now, up here we have a situation brewing. Let's zoom out here. Okay, let's see, I want to be able to see them. There we go, there's the biters. So we have a situation brewing with these guys up here. So I think we need to start kind of thinking about becoming offensive here. And so what I figure we can kind of do is kind of hopscotch it. Alright. And essentially what I envisioned is this kind of concept. Now we haven't actually used these these guns at all. So let's save the game. Save. Okay. Now let's actually provoke these guys and see what happens. So let's see. Let's see how good these turrets are. Oh shit. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So that is scary. Hmm. And there's these big worms here. So oh, small worms. Okay, that should be okay. Okay. No, that gives us an idea of, of what we're dealing with. And they're not pretty, but I think we'll manage. We'll manage. Okay. So, what does that mean? Well, there's this copper deposit I do want to tap into. We have these guys processing. Um, let us actually, I'm going to change the positioning of this stuff. I don't like it right here. Okay, let's take the power. Okay, um, let's pick that up. Okay, so I want to position this like this. And then position this guy here. Position a chest here. And then position this guy like that. With a restriction of the, the, the two blocks. And then let us power this. So we need to hook this up. And then we need to provide power. And then we need to set this. Okay. And now we're back in operation yes I think so yeah okay perfect okay and then this yeah this will just carry on and continue processing until until this stops and then this will back up and eventually it'll all stop it's kind of the plan so let us make a couple more drills uh, man need more materials more iron so these are not going to do us good at all. We need more iron deposits. And as you can look over to the left, that's where we need to go. So, yeah. So right now we'll carry on with how this is operating. But this is basically the best it's going to operate at the moment. Uh, there's nothing we can do with only these two things. I can maybe add a couple burners overlap. Or burners. A couple miners overlapping each other. But that's... All that's going to do is, yeah, I don't think it's going to do much at all. So we need to put a guy here, and the second guy here. Just want them overlapping. Technically, you want them one out. So let's actually do that. Let's reposition that one, and let's reposition this guy to be this like this and then we can just simply put a belt down and a belt across and across like that there you go so now they're coming down on the both sides but we still have the balancer down here to balance all the sides right so if this side's full and plugged up it's going to push everything into here which will then go down there so it's pretty cool i like it so we'll see so that's in Increase production. Oh, yeah, we need more power lines, so I need more wood. Let's chop a couple trees here. Uh, or do we need a couple trees? Maybe just, yeah, just like that. <laughs> One tree will produce enough until we can build the better ones. Okay, let's put this here. Doesn't matter. Do we have any lights that we can build? Yeah, it looks like we can. So I'm going to go control left click. No. Control right. No. Uh, shift right click. No. 
Control left click, right click. Shift left click does all. So how about if we do... Oh yeah, right click. Okay, there we go. That's what it is. If you just right click, it does five. I want to do some lights. Because it's dark and I want to provide the light so I can see so we'll put a light up here oh and they changed the look of the light see that's pretty cool huh yeah and looks like they increased the range of what they turn on as well which is kind of cool that's really cool actually we can actually light quite a bit with these now see look at that look how big of an area you can light up so we should actually think about spacing these out further Maybe over here. You can put one right in the middle here beside the radar. Yeah, sick of that. Look how lit up everything is, man. That's cool. So they definitely did some work on that. That's pretty neat. Let's grab all of this iron. Come on, give me iron. Give me iron. <laughs> yeah, these will only work as fast as they can. So. We need more bullets, more bullets. Oh yay, lots of bullets. Okay, good. We need maybe a couple more turrets maybe? Because I do the turret creep. Um, I think people refer to it as a turret creep. And basically what that means is the turret slowly creeps along, right? Like, uh, looks like this is done. Excellent. Let's control left click. Let's pick this up. I guess I could just pick that up instead of doing that. Let's deposit everything into here. Control, left click, perfect. Let's see how the walls. 50 walls, perfect, okay. So let us now run over here. So there's this these deposits down here. I just need to make sure that there's no other creatures around these so we need to secure this iron deposit because it's massive and it looks like there's a couple copper deposits here zoom out a lot okay so and there's looks like there's another iron deposit okay so potentially to the right of these de well potentially we can use all the space up here to build in because it's all cleared already maybe we'll build our base over here this will be the new home for everything so to facilitate that let us get to combating here and see what happens so let's put oh yeah I could have done that do that now there's keys you can press while you're putting ammo into these but I have no idea what those are so now, if you know what they are, you can point it out to me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to continue doing what I do. I do like that. Now let us grab a stack of 50 here. Split it between the two. Okay, let us... Oh, I don't have any repair. Repair things, repair things, repair things. Crap. I need to be making these, so we need to be making circuits, looks like, the circuit boards, the green circuit boards. Um, okay. Oh! Whew! Okay, so we can grab this one, and we're going to start creeping up. Let's put ammo in there. Okay, uh, we're going to grab this one. And all this is is just moving the turrets and putting ammo on them. That's it. Right? And until eventually... Oh, man. Oh, man. Huh. Okay. So I need more firepower. More firepower. Wonderful. Okay. Well, let us Let's 
Uh, I'm just basically putting... walls up here to indicate we need to create a secure zone here. <laughs> uh, we definitely need more wall pieces. Those should be able to handle everything. And that should keep the numbers whittled down. So we'll just keep an eye on it. On this thing. I also increased the size of the UI. So you know, I'm playing this in the full the full so for example if I go options there's other and there is no it's not other how about graphics there is this this UI scale and system default is 100% but I change it to 120% and it seems to be doing just amazing <laughs> so yeah uh, let's see here so what am I doing what am I doing Oh yeah, look at this. This is all backed up. That's beautiful. It's what we want to see. We can potentially... So we need to build... Okay, so we need to build transport belts. We need to build... Okay. Shoot. We need... So we need to move everything over there. I wonder how we're going to do that. Are we going to disconnect everything and move it over slowly? Or start building over there hmm. bullet damage is finished let's see what else we can do with just our red science packs I think we're running out of what we're able to do look at this look at this um, oh wait we can do bullet shooting speed and then we can do the shotgun Oh, and we can even do armor crafting, so there's a better armor. So why build the other armor? Well, that's interesting. Okay, so let's do bullet shooting speed, because that will definitely help us. Let's do that. Let's see about more ammo. Okay. Perfect. I need more firepower, because obviously those bases... Let's try it. Let's try it again. Let's, let's creep up those turrets closer. Maybe let the turrets do the damage. Because sh shooting it didn't really... Oh, I need to check on the walls. Crap, I should have done that with all of you here a little bit sooner. But that's okay. Let's Only 16. Only 16. What's going on? So we're waiting for stone. And stone's processing as fast as it can okay okay that's okay and uh, this stuff is all backed up because I think the chest down there is full so this is working as expected okay uh, but not the walls that's only 16 walls wow that is okay so let's kind of carry on with this wall up here there we go I want to connect it into the water here. Let's see if there's any fish here. They look like fish. I want that one. Uh, can we reach that one? Yeah, okay. Uh, that one's too far. Okay. Or that's just the ground. Okay, so they're dying here. Excellent. So let us pick this turret up and place it here. Put that in there. Pick this turret up and place it here. And then we just carry on with the process. Perfect. Let's repair this guy. Oops. I keep wanting to push the wrong key there. So... takes forever so we need to bring these guys closer okay not a big deal okay okay
Okay. This this is uh the, the this is the creep the creep. This is the turret creep. But the problem with this is it uses like ammo like crazy. Like if you notice there we go. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, let's put more bullets in there. Let's actually run and grab some more bullets. So let's actually do this. back a bit because I don't want them to keep attacking and use up all the ammo so let's do this this one's out oh man that's I need to run and grab more ammo <laughs> oh this is a disaster so it's gonna be harder to kill them off than I expect. So that is interesting. So we need to grab more wall pieces if they're available. Okay, we got some. We need to grab more ammo if it's available. Which it is, okay. Not much, but it is. Okay, then we need to run back over this way again. And we're gonna pick up those turrets we're going to put them behind the wall. And we're not going to try and go after these guys until a little bit later. We can secure the deposit below so that's not a big deal. So let's see here. We want to put these kind of like one extra behind. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Makes me wonder if we want to space them out by five or if we want them closer. All right. Now we can do this this and I'm gonna grab the the turrets here and I'm gonna run back this way hopefully we can escape okay and then I'm gonna position them I used to position them like five apart so for example uh, okay one two th three four okay one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we'll position them like that. So one, two, three, four, five. So they should be two. So there should be three spaces in between, right? So like this, like this, bang, bang. I think that will do it. So one, two, three. Okay, that looks okay, right? So let us repair this guy. Let us uh, control left click. No, uh, how about shift left click? Control right click. How about if I pick this up, control right click, left click. Uh, no, shift left click, right click, right click, left click. Alt left click. No, alt right click. Control right click. Uh, it does half. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Control right click is the what the key is. And control left click does all of it. Control right click does half. Okay. <laughs> it's like I'm learning a whole new game. Well, I never really 
you figured out those controls. I've kind of, I haven't really bothered to, but now, okay, perfect. So that's all protected up over there. I'll grab some more wall pieces. Maybe what we'll do is for the heck of it, create a wall up here somewhere. Let's see. Where's that last piece I had? Uh, let's connect it right here. So, like that. Let's chop this tree down. Basically along up here to connect it to the other water. Maybe connect the other water. Maybe we'll wall ourselves in slowly here. Since that is kind of the main concern, let's make sure there's fuel in here. Okay. This is all doing good. We got ammo in there. Looks like the attacks have stopped, which is good. We'll continue to build ammo, and we'll continue to do this. Okay, perfect. And so what we need to do is we need to change everything. And what do I mean by that? Well, we have all our layout here, and we have all this coal and stuff going down here, correct? So let's see, let's actually, I need to do that. I need to go onto here, do that, and then that. Maybe what we'll do is we'll let it use that up a little bit, and then we'll hook it up again correctly. So I need to move all this stuff over to the left here. So what I figure is I can build the power up right here, and then over to the left here, Let's see, I'm going to run over to where this deposit is here. And right down here, this is what we're going to mine. And we're going to, I think we're going to bring this product up vertically, up into here, and then we're going to smelt it right up here above this oil here, so in this area. And I want to have both copper smelting and iron smelting. And then we'll figure out which way everything is going to go from that point. But... I think that's the plan. Um, over on the left side here, because if you look at where all the deposits are so far, on the left side I want to create an area where your trains can then come in and offload. So I think that's kind of like this area here. Let's zoom out a bit. So it's another iron deposit there. So this area here I'm standing in I think is where trains will come in and go right above this. And then beside that will be the smelting and everything. Maybe the smelting will be over here to the right a little bit in this area here where the trees are. So we'll have kind of copper along the top maybe. Iron along the bottom here potentially. Going this in this direction. Maybe. And we'll carry on the factory going this way to the right. And we'll go in between the two, the all the lakes that you can see there. We'll just go in between them. We'll kind of have to kind of jig up up this way to go across but that's kind of what I've been doing so this stuff over here we'll just pick up because we can harvest this as we get to this side I was going to tap into this because I was going to build the factory in a different way but I think we're changing that plan so let's pick this stuff up so it's not a waste perfect let's pick up the turret more ammo okay so yeah, so for example, we want to put walls, where do we want to put walls? We want to connect it with this water up here. Where's the water? Here it is. So I think we want to connect the walls like so, potentially. So from here. Okay, so we want to build the wall going up. So like this, all right? That's kind of the idea. Kind of block this stuff in and protect us. To put turrets behind. And we'll kind of do what the strategy like we did in the last game. Or in the last kind of series I did of Factorio. And we'll go from there. But as far as anything unique in this one, nah, there won't be really anything unique. It's just going to be me playing the game as if it's a brand new game. And we'll go from there. So... We have this copper here that we see. Let's start harvesting it to get it out of the way. Let's put it in a box. And we need to bring power over here. 
That's the easiest way of bringing power. Well, not this way, I think. Uh, not far enough. <laughs> we have some wood, so let us make some wood poles. Let's make all of them. We need more copper. Let's go grab some copper plates. Oh, look at that. We got quite a bit now. Perfect. Let's grab a hundred. Uh, let's see. This is for stuff that we don't use anymore. So what are we going to use? We're not going to use those anymore. And I think we're going to use all that still. Let's grab more bullets. I don't want to make too many bullets, but it seems the demand is currently there at the moment. So let's position these guys. There we go. Okay. We should make a light. So let's do f five lights. <laughs> Come on. Give me my lights. <laughs> Wait for it to craft. It's just kind of cool. I like those the crafting timer thing. Let's put a light here so we can see. Okay. Uh, up here. Okay, so let us put in, let's put in a little bit more ammo, let's put in 50, uh, let's put all that in there, let's start doing this, 49, 50, so if we do this, actually right click, um, Right click that one. And I just need 10. Okay. Okay, um, another gun turret. Let's put it up here. One, two, three. And put all that there. Now we need more ammo. Okay, perfect. So, let's kind of start building, building these. So let's build another one of those. Okay, and let us position these. So I, uh, when I position these, I like to position it in a way that it utilizes every aspect of this thing. So for example, the very first miner I would position here. And the reason for that is because the outer edge of it matches up with the outer edge of this, and the top edge matches up with this. So that's kind of the starting corner, and then I go in a pattern out from there, you know, harvesting and collecting all these resources. And I always like to do it evenly. So like this, you can see there's a gap, proper gap, but they mine their own little area, respective areas. That is what I like to see. So let us bring it up like this. Okay, we got that one. I need to position maybe a couple more. So let's actually build a couple more. And let's run and grab more materials. Power generation we can still maybe put over... Maybe we can leave the power generation where it's at. Because if you look at the pollution... Oh, uh, looks like we forgot to keep an eye on this thing. Whoopsie. That's okay though. Because, yeah, there's lots, lots of room, lots of space. Okay, let's do that. Let's, let us grab some more plates. Okay, nice. Nice. Let's check up on the walls. Up. Okay, this is running. This will run as it, oh yeah, bullets, 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 bullets. Ah, we need more bullets. <laughs> Up here, oh, up here the stone is gone. Yeah, okay. So therefore it stopped processing, which means that these are all the walls we're gonna get for now. So what, what do we do with this setup? Well, let's pack it up since we don't need it here anymore. Okay, perfect. So let's dismantle that one. Um, 
Yeah, I guess we'll have to keep that one there. Kind of funky, but that's okay. So these guys, well, we still got lots of resources in that, so we can keep this operating as it is. I want to build over here on the left. So, how do we do that? Uh, yeah, I think this will kind of be, you form the start of the base, I think. So let's do that. We're just going to continue placing these these drills, these mining drills. And we're going to create a kind of pattern. Um, I think we're going to keep it consistent or no? Maybe not, maybe not. So, do that. Do that. And we'll, co we'll continue to place them along this way. Then we need to build... Splitters, so we need a couple of these guys. All right, then we need a bunch of these 5, 10, 15, 20. Even though we have belts on the other side, it's just always better to just start building and go from there, right? Uh, can we build any more of these guys? Let's build one electric mining drill for the copper deposit, which is both of these. But we'll start with this one. And we'll let it all build. So what I want to do with these belts is we want to bring it up into a system of smelting. So not too far from here. We don't need to go too far. So we kind of need to combine this. So the middle of this thing is probably this central column here. So what we'll do... Maybe what we'll start to do is maybe maybe we'll try and map out how many more we're gonna place. So for example, this goes one out from itself, another, and then looks like three tiles. So one, two, three, and I'll face towards the right, which means that we want this belt to go up like this. And then we want the second guy over here. Then we want to hook this in to the system. So it doesn't need to go very far. And we hook it in like this. And we hook this in like that. And then this guy, actually, and we want to, we want access to this deposit. So this needs to go up a bit higher. So let's bring this up. Yeah, I think this will do it. Oops. Okay, so now we need to put splitters in place, right? We want to combine the two and the two. Do we want one stream or two streams? Let's see how this is going to work. So. We have, okay, that might work, that might work, because I think we might have one more column of belts for the tail end of this, probably going up left, or to the, to the left and into here maybe. I'm just thinking if I want two belts or one belt. You know, everything will compress into the one belt, so will that back everything up? Or should we just build the design with two belts? That's kind of the dilemma. So I tell you what, I'm going to think about that, and we'll continue building that in the next episode. Let's just do a quick check of our turrets up top here. I've got some walls to place as well. So let's start placing more of these walls. Okay, good. We got turrets here. So let us grab this and just right click for, or no. So control right click, there we go. Three, two, 
Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Got more bullets. So yeah. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourselves with this episode. And thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye bye.